Uh, Shannara says, James, your caller was talking about CBDCs that the government is going to bring in. Rishi said so. It will be linked to your digital ID. The government will then be able to control what you spend and what you spend it on. Cash will be withdrawn eventually and you will be sad, said Shannara. Let's get some advice on this from uh, Dr. Roger Givol, but he joins me now. Uh, Dr. Roger. Um, you love to have a froth, and I'm probably going to have to take you over the news, but never mind. Um, you are CEO of Fair Money, personal finance and credit expert. Um, is there any truth in this stuff about crypto? Uh, it's very hard to tell, James. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. Um, there has been so much in recent weeks uh, about the fact that the crypto is nothing other than a scam, uh, a giant Ponzi scheme like Bernie Madoff. Uh, the difference is that uh, Bernie uh, stole 64 billion pounds, uh, whereas crypto is uh, dollars, whereas crypto is three trillion dollars. Now, uh, what it is, they say, is really just a Ponzi scheme, musical chairs, which could stop at any time. So some people are going to make a lot of money uh, and some people are going to lose a lot of money. At the same time, the crypto barons and other experts are saying, what a load of nonsense. This is just another conspiracy theory. Of course, this isn't uh, a Ponzi scheme. This is real and it's got all these benefits, et cetera, et cetera. And nobody knows. And nobody then, knows. And I guess and that's that's why we have to talk about things like artificial intelligence and all the other stuff coming in. A uh, very quick word on chat GB, uh, GPT. What on earth is this? Chat GPT is the new artificial intelligence AI robot that looks more and more uh, as if it's going to replace the ubiquitous Google search engine and put them out of business. Wow. Micro yeah. Microsoft is said to be about to invest $10 billion in this new app. Now, what it will do is it not only apparently searches better than Google and everything else, it actually writes things for you. Wow. So, so much so, James, that the New York City public schools have just banned it, presumably, so that students don't use it to do their homework. Oh, for it's like having a calculator banned in school. Uh, Roger, funnily enough, uh, we're out of time, so I, I'm going to ask you to hang on there because we're going to come sure. back to you after the very latest news headlines and we're going to be going through the papers with Jonathan Levi, his TV producer. We'll be going through the front pages as well and taking more of your calls. I know so much to cram in. All after the very latest news headlines. Uh, Jonathan, before we come back to you, we must return to Dr. Roger Givolp. He's been sitting there very patiently. Um, so, Roger, we've learnt about chat GBT and the fact that, um, you know, we need to be sort of cautious and aware of that. OK, so we were also talking earlier about crypto. Is it a scam or not? Yeah, can I just say it's chat GP, like Peter T, GPT. G chat GPT. Chat, DP, chat GPT. Snappy title, <laughs> that. It's a strange name, but it can write newspaper articles for you or a report. It answers questions on a questionnaire. Some people are even using it to fill in dating apps. And oh. I'm, to I'm told confidentially that it writes even better than Prince Harry's Ghostwriter. Well, that wouldn't be hard. I mean, I'm, I'm, tempted, <laughs> I'm, tempted to, I'm tempted to pull it out again. Come on, Roger, give me a number between 1 and 407. But first, can I ask you uh, to hold it up again? Yeah. Be because every bookstore that I have seen and has been reported to me has got that sticker on it from the Well, that's because it's 28 quid for this bunch of nonsense. Uh, right, quickly, right. give me a number between... 38. 30, 38. 38? Oh, you've gone early. Uh, right. Um, do you want one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven? Uh, seven. Oh. Um, right. Uh, they couldn't get enough of the joke for some reason, blah, 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 blah. Never mind that my mother didn't meet Major Hewitt until long after I was born. The story was simply too good to drop. The, <laughs> the press rehashed it, embroidered it, and then there was even talk that some reporters were seeking my DNA to prove it. My first intimation that, after torturing my mother and sending her into hiding, they would soon be coming for me. Wow. Right, Roger, crypto, wow. is it a scam? Wow. Uh, you know, nobody knows, uh, and, and there's some very, very authoritative people saying that it is absolutely beyond doubt, and some other probably less authoritative people, their authority now is mainly that they're very rich in terms of crypto, saying that this is a lot of nonsense. But 
James, very importantly, and this, of course, is the main thing. This is the main point. This is the greatest failing of crypto. There is no regulator or authority that has stepped up and said a word about any of this. We are lost in the jungle and we're not celebrities and it doesn't look good. Okay, good. So, I, so I, my I, was, advice, I, was, I was hoping we're just going to move on there. It's just like, watch out. But anyway, yes, carry on. Okay. Well, watch out, yeah, but I mean, my advice would be to sell all your crypto, and I don't give financial advice, sell all your crypto except what you can afford to lose. Okay, that's a that's a good idea. Um, Jonathan, for a quick question for you. Melt-ups and rich sessions, if if that's how you pronounce it, do you know what they are? No. No, no, me neither. Melt-up so, no. melt <clears throat> and rich sessions, so I better ask Dr. Roger what they are. Uh, melt-ups and rich sessions, what are these? Well, um, several weeks ago on this program, I spoke about uh, the predictions in the United States about a melt-up. A melt-up is where asset classes, asset prices rise beyond the level that their fundamentals dictate that they should. Everything gets more expensive because investors get excited and start buying, buying, buying and driving prices up. And that's what happens as we come out of COVID, start to return to normal, business starts looking a little bit like it used to, everybody's buying everything and the price of all assets gets driven up. And I warned people, I cautioned people to be careful, James, because in a couple of years, they might find they overpaid for something. Now, a rich session is what comes next, according to Steve Forbes, the uh, owner of Forbes magazine. Uh, a rich session is where people's assets uh, decline in value. And this is what's supposed to happen, I guess, after the melt up. We have a short melt up, then a rich session. A lot of rich people go broke. Uh, and he cites as the prime example, uh, Elon Musk who was the richest man in the world, but whose wealth dropped by, are you seated? 165 billion pounds, 65% of his wealth in one month. And that's because and he went and bought Twitter and everybody thought that he wasn't gonna focus on his car company anymore. So there be, you know, focus, focus, focus is what you learn in business. Uh, Roger, we have to leave it there, but thank you very much indeed for joining us this morning. That's Dr. Roger Givelby, CEO of Fair Money, personal finance and credit expert. Thank you.